What's going on, everybody? I'm Casey. With me here is Laird, and we're here at Queen 2024 with Winners Semi-Finals. Yes, and we got two good opponents going against each other. It is going to be A9 and Sauce going yep. against each other. Winner of that is going to fight Snogi, who is waiting in Winners Finals right mm -hmm. now. So it's going to be fun. These two have played against each other a few times. A9, clear favorite to win the bracket, top seed. Sauce, though, might be a dark horse. Yeah, for sure. Sauce has always been able to you know, duke it out with the best of them. But at the same time, though, A9, I mean, you know, NJPR, top 15 in the state, period, as well as being the best player in South Jersey. So it's going to be a tall task for Sauce here. Yeah, and all, all, already, all just right. A9 <laughs> oh with those God, extensions. 71% <laughs> unanswered, 84%, oh and, and the train continues here. Now, here's the big thing about PT. Disadvantage. It is not fun. It is not good. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're really good when you're in advantage. When you start cooking, you get those combos going. I've sort got those long limbs and, and all that extra vine whip damage you can add up. The up airs, the down air strings off stage. They're so useful. The problem is, Steve, one of the most explosive characters in the game. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people theorized that PT would be one of the best characters or would even have a winning Steve matchup because of how well Ivysaur can specifically do against the blocks, but I think people have started to realize that although Sauce is going to get a very nice stock right there, I mean, Steve's like pop-off potential is still so high that it's still kind of difficult for PT. 100%. And the other thing is that Ivysaur, you know, like you said, Vine Whips do a good job dealing with the blocks too, but it's all about how you avoid the opportunities for A9 to get those combos on you and get those kill options and those setups. Going for one there, expecting Sauce to pop out of the cart. And, and go for the F smash kill, which would have connected had Sauce decided, you know, I'm just not going to mash here. Yeah. I mean, so far, I mean, Sauce is actually starting off quite well, especially since, you know, A9 started the game off with, you know, like 80% unanswered. So. Yeah. Ooh, and the oh, my school. goodness. The and the <laughs> untackable just to really just, like, put Sauce on the wound. Yeah. Ooh, can you go for the raw uppy? All right, good, good startup on that attack. Gets A9 off the picture a little bit. Goes for it again. Sauce, one of his things, he really loves his, his uppies between yeah. the Ivysaur and the Squirtle. Yep. Uh, personally, used to play against Sauce all the time. When we were up and coming back in high school, Dang. two of us played against each other all the time as part of the Instagram Smash Brothers series that we used to do. Wow. Instagram Smash scene, man. That's that's where Sauce Dude. started. He's here in South Jersey. One of the best. Sma Yo, it's crazy. I also started the, like, the Instagram Smash scene. And, hey, some of the best, some of your favorite people went in there, and that's how Sauce yeah. learned that Uppy is a pretty good move. Oh, for sure. Shout out to the Smash Ultimate uh, fan account. Yes. Like the, the one that's just at Smash Ultimate. Yeah, AKA Ego. Very good guy. Oh, yeah. Man, and what uh, a throwback. Does he, does he still post? I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. I, we, most of us have since moved on. Arbiter Skyward started there as well. Oh, that's um, true. Yeah, one of my best friends. He and I, uh, you know, a lot of us have been able to meet each other offline. That's one of my favorite things about that's the Smash sick. community. Yeah. So, I mean, Arbiter and I commentated together for years. Um, I mean, obviously, Sauce is here now in yep. the winter semifinals of a big event against one of the best players in the state. Yeah, I mean, Sauce himself has always been, they've always been like a, a PR contender, you know what I mean? They've always been around that like top 25-ish level in the state, just like always is capable of going on a big run and making a big upset, so. Yeah, one of those nearly a hidden boss. Yeah. If they didn't attend so much. I know. Man. But we're here on last stock. And diamonds have just expired for the pickaxe. Now that sword is still gonna be doing some damage, but uh, there's a gold block on deck. Kind of limited resources, I will say. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Sauce is going for it. Oh, oh there no! in the stage spike. Zard no! is here, but it got walled off. Could not oh, make the climb. Oh. No. Unfortunate situation there for Sauce. Wow. And sometimes when you fly too close to the sun, you're going to end up getting your wings burnt. Yep. Sauce yes. went in deep there, tried to go for that kill. I respect the play because it would have been over right there. Listen, he shot for the sun and he got vaporized. Yep. I don't know what to tell you. But hey, looks very promising though. Was in the lead for most of that game. Uh, and immediately, you call it out, going for the Ivysaur. Because yeah. Ivysaur probably matches up the best against... Steve. Steve. Or actually, Alex. Alex. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you hear how Xander Mobus kind of like says all of them Pokemon differently. Friend. You yeah. know, Steve, Enderman, yeah. Zombie, and then it's just Alex. Alex. <laughs> he got no enthusiasm. He's like, man. Kind of hate him. <laughs> Say what you will. <laughs> he does not like Alex. <laughs> anyway, Live and Learn playing in the background for game two. We're going to be on Small Battlefield yet again. Already Sauce getting these up air strings yeah. running out. 60% nearly. A, a complete reversal of how game one started. 
where mm -hmm. Sauce is running away with the first stock. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of the way Didi plays this matchup. If you've ever seen him play against different Steve players, like that counter play, you know, having the Ivy Sword really using those massive hitboxes. Oh, Look the at that. double! From, with the platform there as well, man. Sauce is nice with it, for real. Yeah. Good, good extension here. Stone tools on deck here. A9 doing a good job weaving around this. Here we go. Need to get that stock before the damage gets too heavy. Now, Ivysaur is one of those characters who has such a good advantage state, they can really layer on the damage in any given moment. The problem is getting there. They're a bit slower, but they do have those big hitboxes. Sure. Sauce is doing a good job weaving around, too. Shield's small, though, and he is in kill range, so A9 definitely has a lot of ability to get stock here, especially with gold on deck now. Yeah, and again, it's early in the stock, too, so the gold doesn't even need the powered up minecart to get that stock, so. Probably on the race to try to go up and get those diamonds because they know that Sauce isn't going to be playing downhill for that long. Yeah. And here come, I mean, here come the jab combos and the up tilts. I mean, it's tough. I mean, Squirrel is more difficult to combo, but, I mean, I mean A9 can combo just about anybody. Yeah, now we're seeing these perfect parries on the Razor Leafs as well. Razor Leaf was proven to be a big problem for A9 in that game one. It's what yeah. allowed Sauce to get so many follow ups and get those combos going. But now we're starting to see A9. Really feeling the momentum here. Uh oh, Diamond, Diamond is on the deck right now. And a lot of iron. Full bar of iron, too. Yeah, full bar of iron. Has a little bit of that concrete as well for the stone. And, I mean, this is like, I mean, he, and now he basically has perfect materials. Yes. This is what the peak form looks like. Yep. I mean, like you're not, this is. This is peak performance. Peak performance, yeah. No, I was talking about this in the double set. I feel like A9 knows exactly when to farm materials and when not to. And that results in him always getting like this god tier uh, resource lineups. You know what I mean? Yeah, Sauce applying some direct pressure to prevent the diamond from being crafted. But he's still going. He's still farming. He's oh, okay. Even there, like he's kind of safe. Sauce, Sauce gets the cross up too. Yeah. They're looking for something. Nice. They're going to get some more. It's actually looking quite nice for uh, Sauce. Sauce just needs to not get too aggressive. They got too aggressive last game, and they ended up in a deficit while leading for most of the game. Yeah. And listen, oh, still going to live there, but Ooh. oh my goodness, edge guard from uh, Steve, not what you commonly see. I thought, I thought Sauce was going to go down for another downer, but we didn't get that. Instead, going to be wisely switching to the Zard. Getting back on stage quickly. Nice punish, no sweet spot though. This is Max Rage Zard, anything could happen here. Oh yeah, anything is possible. And I think a good up smash, so many different things can KO. I mean, from mid stage four there, almost KO'd like. Yeah, four there's one of those moves that is significantly stronger than you give it credit for. For sure. Someone who's been on the receiving end of a couple beast four airs in my day. Mm -hmm. It is one of those moves that you just forget about. And there's the minecart to confirm into the dash attack. 122%, but with full diamond tools and a good bar of iron here. Yeah, this is this is where a lot of players can lose, is thinking that they got in the bag, they make one mistake, and then a player like A9 capitalizes, he gets huge combos off. So well, I mean, you gotta be so careful and disciplined. And you see that in game one, too. Sauce was in the lead. They were in that position, and Steve just oh, layers no. on the damage so quickly. Oh, I think we did the okay. other way around. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. Now both players are at kill percent, considering the uh, raw damage output and knockback from these diamond tools from yeah. Steve. And Max Rage, too. Oh, my goodness. But Down. he is low on resources. Gonna go on to the other side. Live, he will. Sauce right now looking for something. Forward oh, air. No. Oh, I thought that was up smash material right there. Me too, but A9 plays it safe. He's so low on resources right now. He really has to farm any amount possible. Tries to bang it against the wall to grab, <laughs> get that command grab. <laughs> I like the play here. Sasa pressing him with some covering fire. <laughs> this is so dicey right now. All he needs is a grab. Yeah, a grab and up there. air. Up B a for sneeze. sure. Not you know gonna get saying? the down air through the stage. A poke. Oh, oh no! Side B, and it oh. will take the game. Max Rage side B with Sauce only at 112%. 182, coast to coast. 
A9 holds on and is going to be up 2-0. This is a story all too familiar if you've watched these Steve sets, man. A9, such an expert at making these comebacks. These two players have played against each other. Oh my god, what is that? 38 times in bracket? 38 different sets. It is yeah. 27 to 11 in favor of A9. A lot of history between these two. And A9 has won the last five straight. Four of which were first to five. Or sorry, first to three. Yeah. So best of five. Which is the format we have right now. A9 on the precipice. No, A9. I think I normally view him as more of like an aggressive Steve player. But the way he's been playing defensively today has just been a sight to behold. And it just made him like unstoppable. Because he will always find the perfect way to get these resources on deck. And he will just space his attacks so well. And yeah. I mean, Saw starting off with a very good lead. 93 unanswered. Well, a second ago, you were talking about how good the resource management was from A9. But Sauce actually baited him into thinking he could get a grab there. And yeah. that's why he's uh, in this corner position right now. And the spike Ooh. comes down. But Siege makes that back. But not oh, the second time. Yeah. Very good start from Sauce. We just need to see if they can close it. That's been the issue all set is just that A9's been able to close it out. But this is about as good of a start as you would like if you're a Sauce fan. OK, goes for the tether cancel. Tries to get more damage on the board. Now here, when A9 starts playing patient and safe, there are a few players scarier. Yeah. Uh, usually on that first stock, and then trying to go downhill, try to get the lead first. But they keep running into Sauce's big hitboxes and uh, lingering attacks like that neutral air, which is why Sauce is able to usually put him in the blender for that first stock. Now yeah. we're in this position where A9 trying to play slower and safer, get those tools on deck, and, and, and keep damaging Sauce. But right now, Sauce is just hanging out in his grill, playing that mid-range super well. Oh my goodness. This is looking so good for Sauce right now. It's already lapped him in percent. Is almost at a three to one lead. He just closed his stock right here. Down throw doesn't kill. Nearly 150% for A9. This is what I love about Sauce. They've got such a good competitive mentality. They really have the mentality of a competitor. You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, and that was all forged in the fires of Wi-Fi. Yeah. There are a few more frustrating environments than that. <laughs> for sure. Listen, if you can survive Wi-Fi, you can survive anything. I think Sauce knows that, and that's part of why they've been uh, still, even being down 2-0 after two heartbreaking losses, nice. is out Squirtle here Blitz. up an entire stock in this game three. Yeah, and, and, and going back to that, I mean, you've seen a lot of top players come from Wi-Fi nowadays. I mean, TM7's yeah. on the precipice right now. They've been doing some really good things. Sonics. Uh -huh. Arguably one of the best players in the world. Definitely the best player in this part of the world. Yeah, Spargo really, I mean, he started off offline, but he really established himself as like a top five player during the COVID era as well. Yeah. So. Shiny Mark, Captain Cito, as we mentioned in the, in the previous set. Shout out Shiny Mark, by the way. Yeah, very good player. Fun to watch. Yeah. Had the pleasure quite a few times. Oh, nice. Yeah. But here we go, though. Again, we're seeing the same sort of advantage. Nice! But this time, Sauce is able to close it out. So, great game three there from Sauce. Yeah, switches back to the Zard here. Now, Sauce was, was kind of rocking with the Ivysaur in those first two games in these last hit situations. And once A9 started playing patient and careful, they recognized, hey, Steve is just faster and can get away from Ivysaur very easily. Yeah. Now, when you go back to the Zard, who has very good blistering ground speed, like, ridiculously fast for a character that size and that heavy. You're in for a situation where A9 is, is super pressured and, and a character who hits that hard, moves that fast. You got to yeah. be on your horse and be careful. And Sauce wins that one with a two stop. And listen, we got the counter pick to Talon Say right here. Definitely uh, an interesting stage counter pick. Definitely very good for Steve, although you do have the material disadvantage. The overall stage layout is just so nice for Steve. Yeah, and going back to that material disadvantage, yes, you're going to be harvesting wood a lot, but the other thing is that you're using the axe for durability. Yeah. So your up tilts might not be as useful after a certain amount of time, but that said, your forward air and back air uh, and your dash tag, the moves you use your pickaxe for, they will be online for some time. And listen, this, oh my goodness, Sauce is actually going crazy right now. Down throw up B, one of Sauce's favorite combos in the game. Really a big believer in Ivysaur up B. Oh my god, and he's still going. Yeah, no, I was just, I was going to talk about how A9, like, always gives himself the time to farm resources, so it doesn't even matter that there's a disadvantage, but, like, but the way things are going right now, I mean, this is 
Looking so good for Sauce. Yeah, and you know, what Sauce is doing is hanging outside of A9's burst range because he outspaces with those moves. Looks for the upbeat, oh. but comes down and Anvil on the head. Don't, don't. Looney Tunes ass character. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, no, it's a little bit goofy sometimes, but. And listen, that's what happens when Wiley e. Coyote chases the Roadrunner, man. Sometimes exactly. he just gets donked. Exactly. And this is some really good economy here in the resource <laughs> game for A9. Yeah. Adventure so capitalism over here. Oh my goodness. Wow. And even as Diamond out, I mean, again, like, a is just able to get those resources, but Great catch. Sauce is able to get the kill before he can even fully take advantage of those. Yeah. Sauce recognized, oh, A9's going to think I'm chasing. I'm going to fade away so that Anvil doesn't hit me. And as fade they're away. coming down on the Anvil, drop the up air. Mm. Beautiful fade. micro adjustment there. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Are they going to reset? Thank you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> who, who, anyone dropping a stock? What's going on here? What's up? Sauce ah. hit the button, so they have to forfeit the stock. It's an even game. Dang, I thought they were like, homie, just play it out, but they actually are taking the stock. Maybe Sauce is just confident that he's going to be able to take this game. Hey, listen, $750 pot bonus here at That's Queen 2024. Yeah, uh, yeah take, give me that stock. <laughs> yeah, A9's probably like, you better, you better give up that stock. <laughs> and that's such a momentum shift, too, because yeah. now Sauce, who had such a commanding lead a moment ago. Only has a slight lead. Yeah. Which is good, but like. Not as good as it could have been. Yeah, it, when you're playing against Steve, you want as big of a lead as possible. Exactly. Know? Staying ahead of Steve is the key to victory. Yeah. I mean, he's still got a massive lead, so it might not even matter at this point. Ooh. Sauce might be well, able to I don't know. Again, game, game one and two. I, I, I would love true. to call back to that again. That's true. There. I'm assuming he's going to switch to the Charizard at some point, right? I don't think he will. I think he's going to rock with this. Oh, okay. And it worked out. Another down air. We are going to game five. Sauce saying, you know what? You can have that stock. I'll give it to you. <laughs> you can have that stock. I don't you even need that. it. Some light for me. Some light work. And we're going to game five. It was looking like a dominant A9 victory at first, but Sauce really bring huge adaptations. You're going to game five. Here. Je sunk. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's five in a different language. Yeah, uh, nice. game five in French. Nice. I do not know French at all. I know a little bit of Spanish. I know how to say one, two, three oh, it's actually, cheers it's sank. in Vietnamese. It's sank. I said song. Damn. All the French viewers are hating me. Dang. <laughs> A hey, shout out to my French viewers on yeah. YouTube. I love the French. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn. If you are French, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, don't follow me on Twitter. You will be offended, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> but stick with Game Collision. Five. Stick with Collision. We, we love the work they do for the community. We're super happy that they're yeah. helping put on this event with us here. Mm -hmm. Listen, we're here at Game 5. It is. We're, we're back on Town City as well. Still a very good stage for Steve, but. Oh, my God. You love that SDI out from Sauce to yeah. get put off stage and set down so that they weren't in the blender anymore. True. I mean, I feel like A9 hasn't been able to fully take advantage of the minecart like you normally would expect him to. Yeah. I think that just goes down to Sauce really drifting in and out so well. Yeah, Sauce has had that uh, pretty well managed for the most part, even though Ivysaur is not one of those characters. It <laughs> got a little surprise back here. Uh huh. Well, oh, don't get don't get in the house. That's, the, that's <laughs> yeah. the house of boom. You don't want that. Oh, for sure. That house definitely brought the boom right there. And uh, we got a bit of a lead here, but again, avoiding the mine card, just avoiding disaster right there. Yeah, and, and took a took a weak hit for their troubles. So you're not taking the mine card. Yeah. And that's 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 where the real victory is that's here. That's ideal for sure. Okay, wh what's the plan here? Alright. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he just uh rose up the platform like he's about to take a dive on like a twenty feet or a twenty meter and uh yeah, just let let go. He makes that. Just this this his character is disgusting, man. So goofy that this is like the best <laughs> character in the game. What it's a disgusting awesome. act from A9 going all the way onto the stage. Like, yeah, I'm top tier privilege. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. What are you gonna do about it? And listen, there was a point where PT was considered one of the best characters in the game, but it is that not ship has long anymore. since sailed. Yeah. Still shout kind of on the, the cusp, you know. Shout out to the Prime Tweak Pokemon trainer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That said, arguably, Prime Tweak Diddy. Has, has not played better in the uh, duration of this game. Dang. Another one of our New Jersey natives. Yeah. I forgot about that. He, he'll be going to... Yeah. Well, he I, doesn't go to New Jersey <laughs> locals at all, but, like, he goes to the majors. Yeah, but, I mean, he used to show up at uh, Platinum Star Weeklies back in the day. Rest in peace, Platinum Star, man. 
I, I've never had the pleasure personally, but that said, RIP. boy, did I watch. Boy, was I happy about it. Yeah, legendary local series for the uninitiated. Shut down, I believe, earlier last year. Yeah, some of these old bro. school locals are just, you know, out of play. Yeah, freaking um, uh, Xanadu is shutting down soon. Yeah, did Xanadu shutting that? down. Uh, that's vacation back in my hometown of uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. That got yeah. shut down too. It's actually like end of an era. It is. I mean? Like Xanadu's yeah. been going on for like 15 years at this point. It has. I've had the pleasure of commentating uh, a couple in my day too. Really? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, my dad lives down in Maryland, so I, oh, I made the trip okay. a few times. I wish Happy I we made the trip down there. You know, we just love the community here, the grassroots and everything. So Support your locals. Support your locals, support Queen, and support which of these two players you want to see come out on top right now. A9 in the lead oh, on the last duck. Yeah. Oh, with the punches. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What do you want here? Straight hands. The gloves are off. <laughs> Don't you talk about me that way. <laughs> I have feelings. Exactly. And listen, we got a bit of a lead here for A9, but is definitely at risk of getting KO'd and being brought to a last stock situation. This is what happens when uh, when all of your Pokemon can't fight anymore, but you really want that wild Pokemon. You're just, oh my okay, He's still using the <laughs> You gotta fist. fight me now. <laughs> Bring it, bitch. He's still using his fist. That's crazy. Dash okay, attack. now he has the, the sword. All right. This is where it gets really scary, too, because there are powered up minecart rails at A9's disposal, too. Yeah. And, and Sauce is at 60%. With an insurance diamond on the last stock for A92, there's a forward air. Okay, Woo. last stock game five here last of winter semifinals. Snogi is go. waiting for the victor of this one in winter's finals. Wow, this is such a close match. This has truly been an exciting matchup so far. Here we go. I mean, this is. It does not get better than this. This is yeah. peak ultimate, folks. This <laughs> is just finally the house built over him. Listen, diamonds Here are a girl's go. best friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, now it's like, hey, what's up? I have the lead. But like, what can Sauce do? You know what I mean? You don't want to overextend and then potentially die. That said, I mean, the stage is getting constricted and smaller. Yeah. So, and the longer A9 mines, I mean, they can't get much more than what they already have. Yeah. Made back forward air. Uh -huh. Good spacing, good damage. Tries to get the up air follow up. Unlikely. My goodness. Breaks him out of the mine cart, but not the second time. My Sauce goodness. is in that over 100% window at that kill percent. Oh, oh and the it. footstool out of the shield into the down air. And that will do it. Game one yeah. and two going to A9. Sauce clawed their way back into it here, but. Going into game five and coming out of it, A9 is your victor and will face Snogi in winner's finals. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting set in winner's finals for sure, but good on Sauce for uh, bringing it to a game five situation. But at the end of the day, A9 is going to clutch it out.